Hey YouTube, it's Sean, Griffin RC Planes. So what do we got uh, going on in the workshop today? Well, it's all about hinges. Went down here to the, you know, questions and answers. And one guy asked, uh, Robert says, how, how do you install an ABS hinge? And Victor says, uh, I cut out the damaged one and put in a new one. <laughs> you guys may know that, uh, the Extra 300 by E-Flight is my favorite go-to plane, and I've had several of them. And one of the ones I got, I guess it was made on a Friday or who knows what, but it doesn't have any hinges. And I like to put hinges in my planes. I, It's part of the hobby. It's fiddling. It's fun. It's things to do on a rainy day. It's things to do when you have a crash and you need to make a repair. Just hinges are uh, just one little part of the hobby, right? So I was talking to uh, you guys about hinges in a previous video, and I was talking about how I've got some from uh, Motion RC, and they worked out really good, which I'll show you guys here in a second. And I was asking, I wonder where I can get the hinges that come in the E-Flight Extra 300, because they kind of look like a T. And one of you guys said, that Motion RC sold hinges that uh, looked like a T. Let me show you real quick what we're talking about here. So this is one of the elevator halves to the extra 300, and you can see the hinges here and here, and that's the little T that I'm talking about. So one of you guys said, hey, you know, Motion RC sells hinges like that and I've looked at them before and I never bought any and I really couldn't remember why I never bought them but anyways I bought them this time so we'll uh we'll look at those and see if uh if those can go in the no the no hinge extra so so we'll see so let's look at all these hinges real quick and we'll talk about them and I'll tell you about the one that I've used a few times. I've used a couple. So from left to right, this is a plastic pinned hinge that I've used several times. I've used this in the uh, FMS Beaver and in the FMS uh, Pits. I've simply taken one of the control surfaces and I've just taken an X-Acto knife and just cut it because in the FMS planes, there's no hinges. It's just what's called a pinched hinge. You can see how the the foam just got pinched. And that, uh, that became the hinge. So I just slice it on down. And then I try to get it as straight as I can. And I would kind of cut little pockets in there and in there and then stick the hinge in with some glue and anyways i've done that in several planes and it's worked out good and these hinges are from motion rc also and they work out really good but your control service has to be shaped to fit this hinge we use these hinges in the uh davios king twin let me show you one of the Avios King Twin uh, wing winglets or halves, and you can see how this pinch hinge is different than the extras. See the extras is pinched kind of more in the center, and this one's pinched on the bottom like that. Well, this hinge right here works out good for the ones that are pinched on the bottom see that shape right there how it's straight across the top and then it dips down on both sides you see the pinch tin or not you have the pinch tin here look how that lines up perfectly so when you have a pinched hinge that is like this one, then these hinges from Motion RC work out perfect. And they are 
these right here. So their part number is the N420. Nylon hinges, type A, and they come in an eight pack. And I've installed those hinges in a, a couple different ways, just experimenting. This one down here at the bottom, I installed it like so. Took an exacto knife and cut some slots. And then we kind of look like that on the upper side. Plus I installed it like this one time. And I actually find out find uh it working it works the best like that but it doesn't look the best but if you uh if you take your time and cut them out just right cut some slots just right these hinges will fit perfect and work great in that style pinch tinge then we also have a hinge that I do not know what's used for. This is definitely old and I don't even know where I got it, but I have several of them and it's just plastic. Maybe you guys can tell me what, uh, what it was intended for. This is what's called a CA hinge. I've used these in my balsa pine plywood arf planes it's like a felt fiberglass ish material it feels kind of furry a little bit but you use uh, the real thin runny they call it ca glue and you would stick it in the wood you know but if you, this is your uh your wing and it's got a slot and you stick the hinge in there and then you just drip a bunch of uh ca glue all over it and it just the glue wicks in just like a candle wick and that's how that works this is also kind of a ca pinned hinge these edges are kind of furry and very similar to this uh, ca hinge here but but thicker i haven't uh i haven't used these yet well i did use them on my uh on my demo plane yeah and then here is a pinned hinge as well and you would take a little tiny drill bit and uh, drill in and then with some uh, two-part epoxy or something so back to the hinges that are shaped like a T sold from motion RC so they're a part number N410 ABS hinge type C eight pack. Let's uh let's cut these guys open here. Before we cut it open, here's one of my other ABS King Twin winglets, and here's one of my better installs of those type hinges. So if you have a pinched hinge that's pinched like that, then these guys work out perfect. You see the flat spot right across the top. It just works out great, except I can't get it in there. There you go. All right, glad that's over. Whew. Let me tell you about this free wing part right here. So this is going to be my first specimen for adding some free wing jets to my touch-up paint lineup this is the f16 70 millimeter and i believe this gray is used on several of their jets for those of you that don't know i sell touch-up paint on ebay i have quite a few planes already in the uh, in the lineup for fms and e-flight and by request people have been asking about free wing so this is my first uh, my first part to start matching from. 
I'm going to go down to the lab and do a little mixology. And once I get uh, get the formula figured out, I will add it to the eBay store for the F1670 millimeter free wing. And I'll also try to figure out what other what other planes use the same same gray. And thank you very much for everybody that has uh, purchased touch up paint. It's been been amazing. So thank you very much for all the great sales. So here's our T style hinges. And here's our the T style hinge that I was going after. I'm probably going to have to dissect one of these to see exactly how it is. But here's this one. And they look kind of small for what I'm after. And it's not a metal pin in there by any means. This one feels like it's binding up. That kind of feels like it's binding up also. Like it, they really do. They feel like they're binding up. Look at them pretty fingernails. So I have one of these helping hand gadgets. And um, maybe the fingernails on it will look a little bit better. Hey, there we go. Oh, well, kind of, huh? So... It does feel like it's kind of binding up. They all feel that way. And I don't know if a little bit of oil would help that out. Or are these supposed to bind up a little bit to kind of like, or, you know, is it made for a landing gear door? And that way, uh, I don't know, they, they feel like they're binding up. All of them. Well, not several of them. So let's compare that to uh, to the T that we were after and the size. Not quite as uh, not quite as long. Let's measure what we're after here. These might work out great for uh for some of you guys. So let's see what we're working with. What what I'm after is roughly 27 millimeters. And these guys are roughly 23-ish. So Let's try it again here. I'm just I'm all, I'm learning also, guys, you know how to get the best uh best camera stuff for you. Yep, so 23.5 was the the width of these new white ones we got here. And our extra about 27 and a half they're going to be a little short you know it seems like the way these are they're almost like pushed in maybe with some glue or something there's the indentation So if it's hmm. they may work guys they may work all right I got one to kind of stick in there Just a little small, but they don't weigh much of anything. They probably work really good if you're into like the, the flight test foam board stuff. If you're building those kind of planes, they might work out really good for that. I, I feel like they're good a little, they're a little cheap and they're a little on a small side for, for this apparatus, but we'll see.
if I could find them as long as uh, as our extra right there, then then I would definitely uh, start trying to uh, make them work in this guy easily. Well, the conclusion is, is these little guys are not going to work for, for this application. They may work for you guys. Obviously, they're, uh, they're installed in something. If you do go to the Motion RC website and you look for parts, and uh, their website's pretty good. You can, you can find hinges real easy. It even has a description I don't think it says exactly what plane it says, but it says something how you can figure it out. Like, if you have the time, you can figure it out. Like you said, this says the, uh, you know, the type A. The ones we just looked at, they say ABS. I'm going to look that up real quick. Hang on. All right, so I pulled up Motion RC's website real quick and found the found the hinges and I was trying to figure out what the ABS hinge exactly was and I couldn't quite figure it out. So I went down here to the you know questions and answers and one guy asked uh Robert says how how do you install an ABS hinge and Victor says uh I cut out the damaged one and put in a new one. <laughs> and then I see this John guy says uh hi what is the link from the hinge pin to the T end? And the answer, Charles says, uh, seven sixteenths. Well, let's verify that. That sounds that sounds like something. So, bam, we got a ruler. And that person said, from the pin to the T. So I guess what's on the left right there. So let's take our. Uh, Pin right there, rather, and let's count and see if we get to seven sixteenths. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. It is seven sixteenths. Imagine that. And uh, in L, L millimeters, in L millimeters, it'd be about ten, right? One centimeter is 10 millimeters. Is that right? Yeah, I think it is. Well, all right. So we had fun with the, we had fun with hinges. So they're not going to work for, for my application. I think they're going to be on the small side. If they were longer, like maybe, a maybe that long, then I would, uh, I would try something. So, I'll figure out uh, what I'm going to do if I decide to put hinges in. So, anyways, I just wanted to say hey and let you guys uh, know what's going on here in the shop. And uh, I guess that's it. So, I'll give you guys a, an update and let you know when I'm working in the shop uh, next time. So, thank you so much, guys. Hey, subscribe if you haven't. Click the like button. That really helps out the channel and uh helps me out and i guess that's it so thank you guys until next time you'll see me here these helping hands are actually garbage but don't get these things they'll junkaroo okay hey adios